Good afternoon. Please uh, remember to take a moment to silence your cell phones. There is a sign-up sheet in the back of church for anyone who would like to share table fellowship with Father Benny. And on and under the table in the back of church, you'll find some vegetables that are free for the taking. Some are from our garden and some are from Earl Hartledge's garden. We will have pickleball in the gym tomorrow from 4 until 6. Also in back, there is a sign-up sheet now for the Patrick Leroy Golf Scramble that will happen on Sunday, August the 25th. Prayer request boxes have been placed at the doors, and if you would like to make a prayer request, just fill out the card and stick it in the box, and we have a group that's going to start doing that. Uh, potluck dinner is after Mass today, so if you've signed up, please remember to Come on over for the potato bar. Afterwards, we will have the rosary in the Peace Garden at 6 o'clock. Good afternoon and welcome. Afternoon. We're going to begin today with number 318. All are welcome. Number 318. Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good evening all my dear brothers and sisters. We offer ten families today. John and Mary Weeks, Scott and Laura Welsh, uh, Debbie Wenger, Mary Wessel, <coughs> Conrad Weddell, Beverly White, Roseanne Williams, David Wills, Phyllis uh, Wilson, Mary Ann Young. Let us acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are the everlasting word of truth. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you forgive our transgressions. Christ have, Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring healing and comfort to our weary world. Lord have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest Amen. and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, Heavenly King, for God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, to take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, to take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, 
You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who show the light of your truth to those who go astray, so that they may return to the right path, give all who for the faith they profess are accounted Christians the grace to reject whatever is contrary to the name of Christ and to strive after all that does it honor through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Amos. Amaziah, priest of Bethel, said to Amos, Off with you, visionary. Flee to the land of Judah. There earn your bread by prophesying, but never again prophesy in Bethel, for it is the king's sanctuary and a royal temple. Amos answered Amaziah, I was no prophet nor have I belonged to a company of prophets. I was a shepherd and a dresser of sycamores. The Lord took me from following the flock and said to me, go, prophesy to my people, Israel. The word of the Lord. Thank you. 
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavens, as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world to be holy and without blemish before him. In love, he destined us for adoption to himself through Jesus Christ, in accord with the favor of his will, for the praise of the glory of his grace that he granted us in the beloved. In him we have redemption by his blood, the forgiveness of transgressions, in accord with the riches of his grace that he lavished upon us. In all wisdom and insight, he has made known to us the mystery of his will in accord with his favor that he set forth in him as a plan for the fullness of times to sum up all things in Christ, in heaven and on earth. In him we were also chosen destined in accord with the purpose of the one who accomplishes all things according to the intention of his will, so that we might exist for the praise of his glory, we who first hoped in Christ. In him you also, who have heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, and have believed in him, were sealed with the promised Holy Spirit, which is the first installment of our inheritance towards the redemption as God's possession, to the praise of his glory. The word of the Lord. summoned the twelve and began to send them out two by two and gave them authority over unclean spirits. He instructed them to take nothing for the journey but a walking stick, no food, no sack, no money in their belts. They were, however, to wear sandals, but not a second tunic. He said to them, Whoever you enter, wherever you enter a house, stay there until you leave. Whatever place does not welcome you or listen to you, leave there and shake the dust off your feet in testimony against them. So they went off and preached repentance. The twelve drove out many demons, they anointed with oil many who were sick and cured them. The Gospel of the Lord. In today's Gospel, Jesus for the very first time sending his disciples into the villages and towns where he himself preached the areas of Galilee and Judea where all twelve fishermen 
no education, no great ranking, but they were appointed by Jesus to preach there after me. Now I give all the authority on you and be a representative for me there. Preach the good news, heal them, and you have all the authority to, uh, uh, to bless them, cure them. Well, <clears throat> think about the situation <clears throat> where these twelve of all the apostles are going to be their first time, all the dis disciples are their first time. And it is said, you go in two by two, two of you may go together, make a good companion, that may be a strength, nothing else, no money, no food, no extra clothing, no belongings. And you need to tell the other or who, whoever uh, meets on your way, about the good news and uh, the good news of repentance and forgiveness. Think about again, if you talk to someone and you talk about repentance, how happy they will be. And the next thing this particular disciple is going to ask them, I don't have food, I don't have, I don't have money, and I don't have clothes, <laughs> what they may get, but still, no belongings. Just go under the sky, stretch your hands, and stand like that. True God from true God, the God and our made, consubstantially the Father. Through Him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from Him. And by the Holy Spirit, was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake, he was crucified with Pontius Pilate, suffered death and was buried, rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, the life of the world to come. Amen. God gives us love without condition. Humbly we hold up all our needs in prayer. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. That the Spirit may move mightily through the church and all her leaders to bring healing and peace through God's servants. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. That governments ensure religious freedom for all citizens. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all victims of human trafficking be freed and those who enslave them be converted. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That young people respond to the call of Christ to be sent out doing good through vocations to the priesthood and religious life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That this community of faith be given all we need to answer God's call with courage and zeal. We especially pray for the families of John and Mary Weeks, Scott and Laura Welch, Debbie Winger, Mary Wessel, Conrad Weddle, Beverly White, Roseanne Williams, David Willis, Phyllis Wilson, and Mary Ann Young. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the repose of the soul of Judy Robbins, for whom this Mass is offered. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
Holy God, you call us to walk in the love of your presence. Help us to share the inexhaustible riches of your goodness with those who are most in need through Jesus Christ our Lord. Number 496, Hold On to Love, number 496. <laughs> and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Look upon the offerings of the church, O Lord, as she makes her prayer to you, and grant that when consumed by those who believe, they may bring ever greater holiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your Lift up your hearts. Your heart Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you laid the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed a man in your own image and set humanity over the whole world in all its wonder to 
rule in your name over all you have made, and forever praise you in your mighty works through Christ our Lord. And so with all the angels we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Shelton, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be Christ's eternal life and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, 
but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said, dear apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's so offer each other the sign of peace. away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who fall to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter my roof, but only say the word in my soul. The body and blood of Jesus Christ may keep us safe for eternal life. Number 509, center of my life, number 509. <coughs> Thank you. 
God our Father, you have made each of us to use our gifts in the body of Christ. We ask that you inspire men and women who are called to priesthood and consecrated life to courageously follow your will. Send workers into your great harvest so that the gospel is preached, the poor are served with love, the suffering are comforted, and your people are strengthened by the sacrifice. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, the month of August is going to be a wonderful um, month with a lot of program in our church. Yeah, we are getting ourselves ready for the ordination of our deacon, Donnie, and of course, uh, the celebration of Jubilee of our sister, our 60th uh, anniversary of her uh, religious life then uh, we have uh, uh, the children's mass their special blessing day before their school reopening and another very important day in a celebration for that I would suggest that you may turn uh, page number six in your bulletin and I don't know how many of you have already uh, uh, seen uh, there's a little correction in a, in a one news there a little correction uh, is there anyone already seen that or what I mean maybe yeah they are very particular they may not read the bulletin here in the church that's good you go home check that page there is a grandparents day celebration and of course it is by Pope Francis suggesting the fourth Sunday uh, in the month of August will be a grandparents day oh, sorry, but it's written uh, sorry Ju July but it's written June there uh, did you notice that it's not June but it is July, July. not even August it's July so that's the correction July 27th and 28th hey, what does it mean uh, Grandparents Day, it means if you are a grandparent, tell, I mean, you tell your children and grandchildren to come to the church and appreciate you, that you are a grand, wonderful grandparent. Get a flower from children and grandchildren. Tell them to mark the date. And tell, I mean, if grandchildren are a Nick, how are you? <laughs> tell your grandparents, are they here? Are they here? Yeah, great. Tell them not to go to any other church that day. Because you need to give a flower to them, okay? So all the children, tell the children, hey, we are going to have a wonderful day uh, this uh, July 27th and 28th. Let's have a blessing, a prayer, and appreciation 
and after we may go to the parish hall and have some cookies or something and uh, be together for a while all right take it seriously it's my 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 what to say earnest request uh, maybe a little little um, kind of a what do you say strong recommendation from your side to your children and grandchildren i want to see that all my children and grandchildren come there in the church and give me a flower or a, a card whatever an appreciation you know an appreciation time let's ma- try to make it a good you know gathering time so maybe some of you are may not belong to this church or whatever if you are good at this suggestion please make it a point you are welcome that's how that beautiful day of course we have uh, the rosary prayer some of you are very good at that on 13th today in the next month till october and i know there is a words app prayer group is going to say the prayer every wednesday evening 7 o'clock if you are free you can listen that if you are not don't listen that okay <laughs> if you are free and to join pray with them it will be a group call you may get a call if you join in that and our youngsters our boys and girls are going to explain all these things i'm not good at the gadgets and all that downloading thing and the registration or whatever is needed nick are you confident you are i know so you will be or the, those our young boys and girls will help us come on where to press what number and all we will ask they will do it you know for us and we will join in that prayer and it not need not be something that we i know need to attend that but if you get a call now it's not from a fake call or something it's a prayer call so we may join in that maybe they will like explain this thing later to us let's just uh, make it praying each other supporting each other blessing each other appreciating each other and uh, you know sharing our love in through the church things let us pray <laughs> having consumed these gifts we pray o lord that by your participation in this mystery its saving effects upon us may grow through christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit may almighty god bless you the father the son and the holy spirit amen go in peace and glorify our lord thanks be to god number 631 alleluia Raise the gospel, number 631.